office buildings uh, in the United States to some degree also uh, around the world because of the pandemic, people got used to you know, staying at home. Uh, and it was actually more profitable for them to stay at home because, one, they didn't work as hard, regardless of what they tell you. Uh, and the second uh, is they don't spend money uh, to commute. Uh, uh, you know, they can make their lunch at home. Uh, uh, they don't have to buy expensive clothes, and so their incomes are, are, are higher. So, so uh, j just um, one or two quick statistics. Uh, in the U.S., in the office market, uh, buildings are 20% vacant, um, uh, unleased. Actually, there's another 20% that somebody's leased, but the people don't come in. So you're looking at office buildings that basically are 40% unused. So I expect when those leases roll off, the companies will cut back the amount of space. So say you have 30% uh, unused space in office buildings, that means those office buildings are not survivable, you know, as economic entities. Um, now, that the exception is office buildings that are 10 years old or less. People like being in those. So that's going to have uh, a very bad ending. 